Hey everyone in the Retro Pi forums and Raspberry Pi community. <clears throat> uh, I'm here just showing off my the beginnings of my PS2 Slim Raspberry Pi case mod. Um, there's a rough idea of where it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be right in there. Um, for easy removal, it'll be easier than that. But um, I'll have it so you can take it out if you ever want to do anything to it or use it for another project. But there's that so far. I basically um, have a PS2 Slim I got on eBay um, for a little bit over $10 used a broken one and um, got it a few days ago and I've been working on pretty much um, skimming it down to its bare bare plastic bones here as you can see um, on this base plate here I removed a lot of the stuff that was holding up the CD uh, drive stuff so um, but yeah, I've taken everything off. Um, originally, it was silver, or you know, it's silver, and, I, and the pictures on eBay were pretty good. I thought it looked alright, but this thing's really scratched up and dented, so I'm probably going to give it a paint job. Um, I might just make it silver again, or I might do something funky with it, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so this is what I got so far. Um, I've seen a couple people do... PS2 Slim Raspberry Pi case mods, and I didn't really like how they did it. Um, like 9 out of 10 Raspberry Pi retro gaming case mods, um, they look really bad when you open them up. They look really janky. So my goal, my main goal for this project is to try to make it as clean on the inside as it is on the outside. So we'll see what I can do about that. But for I.O. and stuff... I'm going to use this existing barrel jack. Um, I'm going to. I'm actually in the process of desoldering the barrel jack, this multi AV component out. Get a little bit of light on it here. Um, I already took the digital audio out, and I'm going to use that, the Ethernet. So I'm going to use power for this. I'm going to use, I'm going to take this out, I'm going to gut it, and I'm going to put a USB, uh, I'm sorry, a HDMI port in here. So I'm going to make that the HDMI. And then for the digital audio, I'm going to gut it as well and put a uh, four pin, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack for the composite um, video. And then, obviously, that'll be for Ethernet. And then, uh, this thing's nasty. Ugh. It's so dirty. It was. It came from a smoking home. You can tell it smelled so bad. I did a brief vacuum on it, but I'm not going to get crazy with the cleaning until um, in the final assembly phase here. But um, oh, look how dirty that is. I didn't realize how nasty that is. I was going to say I was going to use the USB ports, you know, um, but I might, I don't know, it'll clean up alright, but that's nasty. I am going to use, so I'm going to use the USBs for the front. I'm going to use the controller ports for PS2 controllers. I bought a, um, bought a little converter USB to PS2 converter kit, uh, cable thing. I'm going to gut that and use that. I haven't thought of anything clever to do with the memory card slots so if anyone's got any ideas uh shout out i can buy like a couple really cheap usb or i can buy a really a couple really cheap memory cards like on ebay like some knockoff generic ones and use the shells for something and then like maybe put i don't know like some sd cards in them or something for external storage i don't know uh so I was going to do more USB ports in it because, you know, it's like the little magic gate, um, little hinge door thing that flops open. So, I don't know. That's still pending. Um, but, yeah. So, um, so I'm not going to keep the board for any reason. Um, I was going to cut, like, a line 
Well, actually, I'm going to probably have to keep some on the board, but I was going to cut a line straight across here and then cut a line straight across here. But I'm definitely not going to do that now. I'm just going to take these, desolder all these and take them out and then <clears throat> put them, put them, you know, like in the respective places, like right here. So I'm going to like maybe just hot glue it there or super glue it or something. And so it'll be a permanent part of the base. Um, and I can take the top off and do whatever I need to do there. But um, so that is about that. Uh, I chose the PS2 Slim because it's not too big. Uh, the PS2 regular, the PS2 fat is like so big that you can like literally fit an entire Raspberry Pi inside the expansion port in the bottom. I have one over here. It's it's hooked up right now though, or I'll show you. But yeah, I mean that'd be a cool project on its own. Like just putting a Raspberry Pi inside the expansion port, so then you can play PS2 games, and then maybe hit a switch or something, and it'll the video output will switch to the Raspberry Pi video output, and you can play all the other games emulated. <clears throat> but that's a project for somebody else, not for me. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so this is really my first time attempting to do any kind of Raspberry Pi project. So my biggest hurdle I can see coming up is this. This is the power switch for the PS2. It's right here. Just a real regular old push button switch. And then right there is the IR receiver. Um, you can kind of see where it goes right here. That's the IR. <clears throat> and then there is two LEDs in there somewhere, one red, one green. And then there's this little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a, you can hear it. But it's like a little, um, just like a little latch that tells the system if the lid's open or not. I don't really want to use that for anything that I can think of, but I do want to use the button, obviously for power. I would like to use the LEDs. Um, and then the IR I would really like to use because, hold on a second, because I just, oops, I just, I was out, uh, at a, like a thrift store and I saw this and I thought, oh, this will be perfect for the project. New inbox PS2 remote. So if I want to like run Kodi or Plex or something on the, the console, I could fire it up and bust out the remote so I'm not using a um, not using a controller and it's more you know natural it's for browsing and stuff like that I did see that there is LIRC configs and stuff for this remote so there's already stuff out there for it um, I just need to know from the community if you guys know it all if you can use any of this really can you use the existing button? I'm sure you can. It's just a button, right? Um, can you use the infrared uh, receiver? Can you use the LEDs? Even, heck, if you can even use this. What this is is just like a little latch. So, like, if it's if it's down, it's sending a signal. If it's up, it's sending a different signal or something like that. I can't really think of any use for it now. Um, I don't want it to be like my Raspberry Pi shuts off if I open the lid for whatever reason. So I really don't want anything there. But there's, um, I'll put up a schematic on the screen um, that I've found, I think it's to this. Um, yeah, but this is an eight pin out. There's eight pins or there's eight wires coming out of this. And um, you know, it basically tells what each one does. So I'm just wondering, I'm not really I'm not amazing with electronics or electric circuitry and stuff like that. So I will probably need a little bit of help with that. Um, and any other suggestions and stuff people might have. I'm definitely, this is my first attempt to get into this. And I've noticed that the <clears throat> Raspberry Pi community is really awesome from what I've seen. And, um, you know, I'm on the forums and I try to help with the little stuff that I know. I try to help when I can. So, um, you know, uh, I know it's a, cool community for sharing ideas and stuff like that so 
I'd love to hear from you guys what you think so far. My ideas, at least. I don't. I know I don't have a lot to share yet, but um, but yeah, uh, I'd like to hear from you guys and see what you think. And if you have any ideas on the power switch and everything, uh, just let me know. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.